Number 22. Using the Bohr model, determine the energy of an electron with n equals 6 in a hydrogen atom. Okie dokie. So I see that I just have one shell, right? I just have one n number, and remember, shell is the same thing as principal quantum number. So this is where the um, element lives in n equals 6. So that means that it's the 6 circle, if I drew it, outside of the nucleus. All right. So here, we're going to use the formula En equals negative k z squared over n squared because we only have one n value. We only use the other formula that we have been using with the two n's if we jump a, if we have an electron jump from one shell to another shell. But since this electron is just sitting pretty and n equals six, I will use the equation that only gives me the one n choice. All right, now we just gotta figure out what these variables are. We're solving for the energy, so we're solving for E n. K, we should know, is that Rydberg constant, right? It's 2.179 times 10 to the negative 18 joules. Z is the nuclear charge. Let me just say this is the nuclear charge. And it's the charge that's found in the nucleus. And the nucleus, remember, is only protons and neutrons. And the nuclear charge will come from the number of protons. And what else is equal to the number of protons? The atomic number, the A value. And where can you find an atomic number? Oh, on the periodic table, which is what I put on the right-hand side. Hydrogen always has an atomic number of one. So this means that the Z has to be a plus one charge because it would have one proton and protons are positive. So it would be a plus one charge. Now they tell us that N equals six. They gave it to us right pretty. So we don't even have to think about what N we're going to use. And now all we got to do is just plug it in. So En equals negative 2.179 times 10 to the negative 18th times our z, which was a plus 1, and that's squared, all over n, which is 6 squared. And 6 squared is the same thing as 36, right? So you could either put 6 squared or you could just put 36. So technically, this would be negative 2.179 times 10 to the negative 18th all over 36, because 1 squared is 1. Just trying to make it more simple for you guys. And now we just plug in. So negative 2.179 times 10 to the negative 18th divided by 36 is, I'll round to three sig figs, so we get negative 6.05 times 10 to the negative 20th, and that is in joules. And that's the answer to this question. Pretty simple, right, guys? Let me know in the comments what you think. Did this help? Did this not help? I would love to hear from everybody. I will get back to you, I promise. Um, but thanks so much for tuning and coming in here to get your OpenStax textbook solutions. We're really trying to build up a community where everybody can help and, you know, post comments. And we help you guys by, you know, putting out the answers. So it really is awesome so far. We have like 70 subscribers right now, which is awesome. I mean, I couldn't even believe that. So thank you guys. But I mean, if you want to press the subscribe button, that would help us. And you would get you know, right in your feed when the next set of questions that we put out come in right there. So it would help you out greatly a lot too. See you guys all in the next question. Have an awesome day.